Hello everyone. Uh, in today's video, we are going to see how we can use NGX proxy manager. So it's not going to be a tutorial video how you can configure it, but a kind of a demo video uh, in which I will show you how I configure it. So I will just going to give you a review. So basically, uh, like we are going to discuss that uh, why NGX proxy server is necessary, what problem it's solved and uh, what things we need to configure that particular thing. So NGX proxy server is what it suggests that it act as a proxy. So whenever you like uh, you, uh, how should I say it? Uh, you request for something, but uh, it will act as a proxy. And instead of that, it will give you something else. But the requester who is requesting that service will never know that how that request is coming. So uh, a very uh, your basic example is it can be a uh, if you hosted multiple website uh, in IIS, uh, you have seen that that uh, default on default when you type local host. So on that uh, it so it shows IIS seven uh, homepage or IIS seven seven homepage. And when you like uh, host any other website, uh, it it will ask for your uh, different port number. So maybe it's eight zero eight zero nine thousand. It can be any any port number which is allowed. So uh, when you try to access it, what it will do is it will uh, it will uh, ask you to mention the port number in order to access the website. And uh, it can be also mapped with the local domain uh, using uh, host files. But the problem with IES is uh, it, it it is only useful when you are hosting something on IES. And as a proxy manager, it's really difficult to configure it because I tried it, but it doesn't work. So what our requirement is uh, when you host different services other than the IES. So maybe uh, if some virtual machine is exposing some port for a web service type of protocol. So you need to have a proxy manager so that uh, request when it when request comes to the IES, what it will do is it will uh, see that the mapping that OK, uh, it needs to be like a request. It needs to be fulfilled by those service. So maybe uh, 8090 port from 8090 port it is exposing so uh, i know it's kind of confusing but when i show you it will be clear more clear so when it has been uh, like when it has been uh, requested uh, what it will do is it will try to fulfill it by providing the access of other service which is exposed on that port so those configuration like communicating between each other it's like very uh, i mean uh, it, not workable most of the time so i tried it i give uh, two to three days but it didn't work so i was uh, trying uh, a home assistant so i what i want is i don't want to use 8123 port i just want to use like uh, maybe ha.local so when i do that i will i need i want to create a uh, like uh, i want to create a rule uh, which says that, that if ha.local is requested uh, what it will do is it will go to that particular IP address and the port number and it will just get back to me. So I, I all I need to do is uh, I need to just use ha.local. So those kinds of requirements. So it's what we call it is a local domain resolve resolving mechanism or you can say local domain server. So what we're trying to do is uh, we try to set up a local domain server and NGX proxy manager what it does is uh, it use that local domain and fulfill our request according to the rules we have up applied on it. So uh, that's the whole overview. So basically what I try to do is I want to type on the browser ha.local and uh, it should fulfill my request on, on a particular IP with a 8123 port and uh, uh, do mind that that I don't have to type port number on the request URL. So uh, if you go, if you talk about in a layman term, uh, it all the requests will be fulfilled in a, on a basis of 80 ports. So when you type anything on on the browser, whether it's a mobile or uh, maybe Chrome from the desktop. So when you uh, type like uh, ha.local or any IP address, uh, what it does is it go for the 80 port and then fulfill your request. So or anything else other than the 80 port, you need to mention the port. So that is uh, something how this is being designed. And uh, in order to like avoid a whole together, like the whole system uh, of, X, I mean, providing the port for the requests, you need to have a domain server. 
so rest of the videos will be uh, screen on, on going to be on a screen sharing mode where i will show you what i am trying to say and uh, how i achieve those particular things okay let's meet in a next section so guys uh, we are back on a screen sharing mode so like i was saying uh, we need to in order to install ngx proxy manager or you can or in order to use it you need to have two things one is either a windows server linux server or pi hole with a raspberry pi uh, running 24/7 and another system you which you need going to need where uh, ngx server will be installed so basically it will uh, those system will be in running all the time so that you can uh you can access it all the time so if you have a requirement like you need to use uh, that particular services uh, 12 to 8 then uh, you need to like uh, turn on all those devices uh, before 12 to 8 so that they can resolve your request so uh, for this uh, particular demo i will be using pi hole and uh, windows 10 machine uh, for this ngx server so when you uh, install pi hole for the first time on raspberry pi what it does what it does is uh, it will expose this particular ip address with a admin uh, as a path so when you go to that part so you don't have to like uh, you know uh, connect monitor on the pi 0 all you need to do is connect to the wifi and you can access uh, this ip address and uh, this configuration will come up so when you do that uh, you need to configure your local dns on it so pi hole comes with a local dns manager so that is why we have used that and similar configuration uh, is uh, also offered by windows server so you can also use that if you have a uh, separate machine for that so uh, in order to use pi hole as a dns server oh, one thing you need to do is you need to configure this local dns and another change what you need to do is uh, is uh, you need to change uh, a uh, dns configuration either on your mobile devices or uh, on your computer devices where uh, dns is mentioned so for that particular lan connection you can change the dns to 10.0.20 or you can change the router dns so that all the request coming from that router will be redirected to this so like uh, in my case i have used router for that because uh, uh, it's like a very uh, tedious task to uh, change the dns uh managers on uh, different devices because you need to go to the setting and there is hell lot of uh, different configuration you need to do and uh, in order to save it what i did is i use a router and inside that router i have used dns there so if you have remember your uh, router settings uh, there you have this uh, particular setting called use these dns servers so by default it it is on this mode get automatically from isp so isp is internet service provider but when you are going to use pi hole as a dns server it will be uh, we need to configure it uh, with this ip address and uh, this ip address is where is where pi hole is installed so whenever any request comes it will go through this instead of going directly to the isp address so there those two things you need to do and uh, your then i think uh, all uh, what left is uh, doing the configuration for the ip addresses so on uh, this local uh, dns so what i did is uh, i did uh, add skull.local something to this ip address so this ip address is where uh, our ngx server is installed so what it will do is uh, when you ask for skull.local uh, request comes to this uh, particular pi hole and it will redirect to this ip address and then it will be intercepted by our ngx server and uh, if you wants to go further like uh, if you have multiple request so instead of uh, like if you have multiple services hosted on this particular ip address what you need what you can do is you can also use cnm records either you can add like this like hs.local or cordy.local something like that or uh, you can use cnm records so cnm records uh, here you can use uh, like different domains here and for target you can choose this so what it will do is uh, whenever any request comes like h.local it will uh, see this mapping skull.local and then it will uh, resolve uh, by using this so skull.local is pointing to 10.15 
So then it will go to the our NGX server uh, computer and then NGX server will decide what request it needs to uh, give response to. So those uh, uh, con uh, those configuration I have done. And then uh, let's see uh, what NGX server is going to give us. So on uh, as, as I have told you or maybe uh, I forget to told uh, I forget to tell that uh, that when you go to any browser and type something like 10.0.15 what it will and hit enter then what it will do is it will always try to resolve that request using a T port so this is by default so HTTP is a port by default which is resolved by our browser so when you use this domain names uh, all the requests should be coming from a T right so you can't like bind domain with different ports connected ideally it should be like that it will be much easier but uh, but it is not built that way so you need to follow the rules or you might not i mean or you you never going to like access uh, this particular domains with ngx proxy server so it should be uh, redirected with the at and because of that uh, we need to use proxy servers so on at uh, there is a landing page which will which will going to give you uh, uh, a response that uh, ngx server is running and on 81 port of ngx server so there we can define uh, our uh, domain rules okay so uh, first rule we can define is for ebooks.local and ha.local so let's just see ha.local so for uh, that uh, i have used uh, ha.local with ip address of this so this is the ip address where my uh, home assistant instance is running so if you go to this uh, particular ip address uh, with 8123 it will give you uh, some something like this but the, uh, the problem which we are trying to solve is this particular thing that we don't want to uh, like remember this 8123 port and instead of that what I what we want is we need to go to ha.local and it should automatically get resolved with this so that is the main problem it solves so and if you have uh, used ha I mean a home assistant before so you already know that it is not hosted on IIS because it is not a web application kind of thing and uh, it has a separate instance and uh, it is coming from uh, a different virtual machine so i have used virtual machine instance so when you install it it will expose some ip address with a 8123 port so that is the same port and in your case it might be different so what we are trying to do is we are trying to access it using 80 port basically so if you go with the flow when re when request comes from mobile or computer we we, uh, we request for ha.local then ha.local go here in our uh, pi hole it sees the dns records it sees that yes uh, we have ha.local uh, rule so it will see skull.local then it will go to this ip address and this ip address comes here so when you request using a dns manager so that request also tells uh, uh, tell the server that uh, it is requested using this domain so we have that information so then using that information we can uh, we can give the response according to the rule we have defined so it will come here and we know that uh, it's been using uh, it, it's it has been requested using ha.local so for ha.local we have uh, 28 with 8123 port so using proxy so uh, on a 80 port we have defined a proxy so on that 80 port what we will do is we are giving response of 8123 port and then when you do uh, this with ha.local it will actually give you response from 8123 and user will never know that where it is been hosted so that's how proxy manager actually works and this is the main problem which it solved and very useful in uh, i mean local setups uh, where you have multiple services as you can see we have uh, i have you use ebooks i have also used uh, photo for photo prism and 
maybe some websites uh, which is hosted on IS, it can also be redirected using our local domains. And one another key benefit of NGX Proxy Manager is it is it can be configured using URLs. So as you can see, uh, okay, uh, this is the NGX Proxy Manager. As you can see, it also exposed by IP address. So you can configure it or add rules uh, from any remote machine which is connected to your local network instead of going to the host files and change uh, settings there. So it is very useful and convenient and I actually uh, didn't take much time. So I was uh, configuring for the first time and it took me, I think, one day. But with IES Proxy Manager, uh, it took me around, around three days and still I'm, I was not able to configure Home Assistant. This ebooks uh, instance and the photo instance was working with it, but not with Home Assistant. So I uh, dropped it altogether because that was the main reason I want to switch to it. So that is how uh, I use ng proxy server using Pi Zero and Windows 10 machine. And if you have any question regarding this uh, particular setup and uh, related to this particular topic, please comment below. I will try to answer them as soon as possible and uh, see you in the next video. Bye, take care.